Welcome back, everyone, to more Splatoon. Last time, we did Spongy Observatory. And also, a weapon that I've grown more fond of over, uh, the past couple days. Yeah, it's a weird situation, but one that happened anyways. So, this time, we're gonna keep exploring the final world and also go to the next... The next level in, uh, next level in World 5. Uh, having trouble getting my words out there. Eh, it's not unusual though, unfortunately. We'll see if I can make this jump. Why did I think I could? Yeah, that's embarrassing. Alright, might as well go up the normal way. This way. Oh, wait. Yeah, right there. Unless... You know, I'm just gonna keep exploring, because I'm, I'm just remembering how awesome this is. I'm just opening up all the ink rails. Don't really care about continuity. Absolutely not. Not doing that one. Once again, saving that one for second to last. Oh, I see one right there, I think. No, I don't think that's one right there. Nope. Trust me, I know where the levels are. I'm just deciding on which ones to do in the moment. Yeah, that's one right there. For sure, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Skipping 22 again, alright. Pinwheel power plant. Slip through defenses. Huh. <laughs> huh. Alright. Also, once again, pointing out how great the skyboxes are and how they're all a bunch of TV screens, because these guys all live underground. Those spinny things make me nauseous. <sighs> Press X to, j uh, to dash jump over the beams. Brap. Yeah, I'm going to say brap instead of erp. It's going to be funny. But yeah, it's just, it's the usual. Just spinning platforms. Oh, shortcut. Nice. Got our checkpoint. Oh, right, this part. I don't know why I remembered this of all things, but I did. Inkzuka, all right. Tch, baited. No. Crap. There we go, we got you baited. I really just say jabated. Alright, that works. Gonna remember that you can slide through grates. There's an Octo Trooper on, the, on top of that pinwheel. Brap! Splat. Love that sound. Oh, wait. Could that be a thing over there? A thing that looks like a thing? Sure is. Bling. Mine now. Might as well use this. Yayer? Don't say yayer, you might get banned from Twitch because they mishear that word for something else. Not good with heights, or spinning, or seafood. Yeah, what? Okay. Of course you're not good with seafood, you're a squid. Cat! 
I shouldn't say keck after that, because that was the joke. Oh, I had no reason to go down here. Nice. I are totally smart. What I want to do here is jump, climb, jump again, and I'll be caught by that, uh, that, that grate if I fall. Unless I go squid form, but I won't. And I'm already talking about it after I've already completed it. Just in case I might fall again from, uh, risky behavior. Oh, these are moving and spinning. That's, uh, weird. Oh, wait, the platforms aren't... The spinning platforms aren't moving, it's the, uh, the other platforms, the these. Ironically enough, even though I've been saying I remember a lot of stuff, a lot of minuscule details, this I don't remember. Zapfish is up there. Alright, this platforming segment should be pretty easy. Besides, enemies are just piss easy to kill. Get some nice coverage over here. And first try! Yet another zapfish collected. We only need just a few more until we can fight the final boss. Oh my god, the series is going by not fast at all. This has taken almost a year now. <clears throat> Alright. Why are we here? For what purpose do we exist? We must not dwell on these questions. We can merely trust in the will of the universe and spend our days in, and nights in harmony with the world, celebrating this festival called life. This fax machine. He do be speaking facts, though. Okay, no. This fax machine is actually quite important, and it won't be uh, mentioned in these videos for a few for a few videos. Like I'm probably I'm probably gonna mention this like on the last video, anyways. So whatever. But yeah, this is pretty important. You might want to remember it. Well, a little important. Not something you'd want to uh, completely wrap your head around. Ugh, you're good. Like, seriously good. Agent 2 soon right now. No. Don't even get me started. Alright. So now we go to Inkopolis to use our weapon for the video. Our weapon for the video is the sploosh o -matic. Think of this as a more extreme version of the Aerospray. Well, okay, it's a variant to the splash o -matic. But this weapon has less range, more damage, and a much more widespread shot, so the accuracy is much worse. This thing throws ink everywhere and has wonderful mobility. However, I'd say the only thing it outranges is the Luna Blaster giving it the second lowest range of any main weapon in the game. And the accuracy is so bad, you'd have to be right on top of someone to get a quick kill. But okay, the sub-weapon is the Squid Beacon. Because it throws ink everywhere, this thing really helps to play team support pretty well. This can be used as bait to make up for its naturally low fighting capabilities. And the special weapon is the Killer Whale. This has actual range, unlike the main weapon, and the cheapest special paired with a weapon that throws ink like it's nothing is a wonderful combination. This set naturally plays a support, moving around with squid beacons and firing with the killer whale to help teammates out on the front lines. Our next set is the Neo Splushomatic, with the sub-weapon Point Sensor, which can be used to tell if someone's hiding just out of your range before advancing, which actually gives this a use on such a low-range weapon. And this is also very well paired up with the special, the Kraken, so you can see where they are and pursue them, so long as the timer doesn't run out, but hey, you know where I'm getting at with this. And finally, the Splushomatic 7, the Sheldon's Picks variant. Now this, I would say, is the more extreme version of the Aerospray. With its sub-weapon, the Splat Bomb, this gets in decent ship damage before opening fire, and the special weapon is the Ink Zooka. Despite this being pretty expensive for a special weapon, the main gun makes this pop up quite often. And it's great for fighting when the main gun couldn't fight well on its own, especially around longer range weapons. So yeah, I've actually gained a bit of an appreciation for this weapon, when I previously thought it was one of my least favorite weapons.
All right, so our stages for the video are Bluefin Depot and Moray Towers. Oh boy. Urchin Underpass for Ranked and Piranha Pit. Oh, it's a lose-lose situation no matter what I go with. Anyways, here's hoping that the weapon I'm going to be using will give me a much brighter opinion on it, much like the .96 gal. Alright, Bluefin Depot starting off. It's not Moray Tower, so I'm fine. Alright. Not a fan of the range, but hopefully ink coverage makes up for it. Oh yeah, certainly. Look at this. Oh, I can't even climb up walls properly. Lame, dude. Uh oh, blasters, blasters, no. <laughs> Sweet. How am I getting kills with this thing? Well, I guess I am right on top of people, so... Yeah! The mouth is practically kissing them at this point. Oh, okay. Standing still while throwing bombs? That's just like how I play. Don't be like me. My goodness, this match is sad. That face when you get actually killed by the vanilla ink brush? Really? Oh, I'm embarrassed. So embarrassed. Holy... Oh, my God. My opinion on the ink brush still has not changed. I still think it is the worst weapon in the game. Like, bar, like bar none, the worst weapon. Oh, okay, never mind. I say that as I jump off. Is that my karma for dissing a popular weapon? A somehow popular weapon, might I add? A weapon that really should not be as popular as it is because uh, awful stats... Not a good kit. <laughs> okay, that's... Oh, man, that's ultra embarrassing. I'm saying ultra because I am I just uh, played Kirby Superstar Ultra again, and that game gave me a migraine. The arena still sucks, yo. I still got the kill. I still got the kill. Don't care. Don't care. Didn't ask. Stupid brush, bruh. Alright. That's a game. Now, whether or not I won is the real question. Looks like we advanced farther, so yeah, we won. Nice. Bluefin Depot once again. Let's see how this goes with a different weapon. There's a lot of greats on this weapon, so I don't know how this is going to fare. Yeah, I'd say like the only uh, maps the Kraken doesn't perform super well on are maps with greats that lead to just straight up death, like this one. Like, Kelp Dome is an exception, because I don't think there are any bottomless pits in that map. Alright, got my Kraken ready. Oh! 
Oh lord. No, I shouldn't stay here. I shouldn't stay here. Bad, bad, bad. Very bad. There's no one right there. Okay. I'm not going to advance anyways. Unless it's up here. Then I'm just going to do the funny. <gasps> How? How did that work? How did that work? I almost got a kill from that, and that was incredibly funny to me. Don't care if it wasn't funny to you, I laughed. Oh, we are winning and we didn't even touch this part of the map. Amazing. Alright, got a kill there. Just gonna crack in just for the heck of it. Might as well use it at least once in this game. Okay, <laughs> I got outranged. See if we can make the final uh, finishing push before the match ends. Cover this part here, over here. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> Get it? Pointless point sensor. <laughs> Alright. That was a win. For sure. Oh, man. That was like 0.2% away from the funny number. Oh, but there's the funny number in my point count. And there were disconnects on both sides. Wow. More eight towers than the last one. I don't need to cut out any footage. But I'm terrified on how this will go. Oh boy. Oh, they've got a charger. They've pretty much automatically won this. I'll stick with the big areas. Everyone else can go get the paths. Oh yeah, that's super fast. This'll work. Oh, pff, okay, never mind. The Luna Blaster's too powerful for any measly squid to handle. Ah, that barely covered anything. Whatever. Oh, okay. How come whenever I'm out of the way, they manage to hit me on accident? Like with... Not, not even accident, just with like pinpoint accuracy, but I always miss to the left. Oh, wait, it's just because I have really bad aim. Of course, that's what it is. Oh, lord. Ho. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that was, uh... That was terrifying. Such a bitch ass up. <laughs> Alright. Luna Blaster. Luna Blaster. Didn't turn around in time. I'm good. I'm the best. You should not have done that. That was the worst possible choice you could have made in that whole scenario. Oh my lord. Just like, oh, this really fast killing, very short range, very low accuracy weapon is about to kill me. Pull out the weapon that disables me from attacking. Wonderful. 
wonderful strategies. Some big brain plays on the yellow team here. I'm so surprised I actually survived that. Holy crap. What? That was amazing. I'm starting to like this weapon more and more already. Yeah, if I just wanted to rack up some quick money, I might as well just play this in Turf War over and over, over and over again. My goodness, this is awesome. That was the worst Inkzuka ever, but hey, that worked really well. Another three win video. This is what you love to see. And top spot too, nice. I should have had more faith in this weapon. All right, that's it for the video. What a wonderful note to end on, my goodness. I'm so glad I'm finally being opened up to more and more weapons in the game, like the .96 scale, the sploosh matic I'm starting to appreciate these weapons more and more each, each, uh, every other time I record this. Oh my goodness. Anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed what you see, I highly consider liking and subscribing because that helps me out a whole lot. And mentioning it also helps me out, regrettably. But you know what? That's besides the point. Uh, but anyways, next time we uh, keep on doing more Octo Valley levels. And also, another weapon where we open up the, uh, bring back the, uh, open up the image folder bit because I keep forgetting what weapon I use next. Um, oh, this is a pretty fun one, actually. Next time we use an upgraded weapon of another weapon we've seen before. See you guys then.